Hey everybody, Bandicoot Commando here, and welcome back to Sly 2. Last time. Uh, let's see. What we did last time is that uh, we got the treasures, and then what we did then was we did ghost capture. We pretty much freed some ghosts from the tomb of the evil wolf priestess, captured the, the, to, uh, the ghost, and then we dropped them off at Neela's HQ. After that, we did Stealing Voices, in which we had to steal a voice modulator and a wiretap and then install them beneath Neela's HQ. And now, uh, today, oh yeah, and while I was at it, I uh, found the safe, which was in uh, one of the, the crypts, to the wiretap, or the voice modulator, and we got the Rage Bomb move, which is something only Bentley can do. And today, we will be doing both Tank Showdown and Crypt Hack, and possibly the Heist. So, uh, Murray, get out there, big guy. It's your turn. Okay, I was just, I was just looking. Alright, let us go. Whoa, that was close. Uh, where is it? Murray, use both analog sticks to drive the tank. Press both up to move forward, both down to go in reverse, and in opposite directions to rotate. To fire your turret, tap the R1 button. You'll need to take out six tanks to get the job done. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Here we go. The seat's gotta go back farther than this. No. <laughs> Probably a tight squeeze in there for you. All right. We're in our own tank. I'm in a tank. He sounds so excited. Remember, all sticks up to move forward. Hold down to reverse. Yeah, and these guys don't give any cares of what I'm doing. Uh oh. Stay sharp, Murray. Okay, so try not to, uh you can get health if you like um break or kill enemies or destroy the tanks. That's bad. I gotta catch up with it. Okay, just wait here for the tank to ambush it. Here it comes. Jazingo dingo, sucker! Okay. This thing better hold together. Okay, they take like five shots to destroy. I got gotcha. you. Man, we can plow through things. Bring it on. Uh oh, that's bad. I need to get moving. Okay. I normally don't have trouble with this mission, but. Health. There we go. Only two left. Come on, tank. Stay together. Yeah, stay with me, tank. Um, there's gotta be health. Nope. Gotta do this on my own. Gotta use my own sharp shooting skills for this. Hey! I will gladly take that health. Get in there. Got it. Like a T-Rex out here! Oh yeah, Murray, I can agree with you. Alright, where's that last one at? Wait, can you hold on? Yes, you can. Nice work, Murray. That should cool 
hold down those mercenaries for a while. All right. Great job, Murray. Okay, now, let's head back to the safe house. Uh, I don't care. They're not going to chase me out this far. You guys are not going to chase me out this far now, will you? Wow, they will. And the tanks won't even attack them. Wow, I got to see them try to return back at this rate. Okay, uh, it's Bentley's turn, though. Wow, they this guy has to make a long trip home. I never thought this would be possible. Will he come up here to the safe house? No, he won't. Okay, I gotta run. Let's see, where is it? It is back there. Um, oh, here it is, okay. Okay, let's see what we gotta do here again. How are you gonna hack the computers down there when they've got no power? According to General Clawfoot, a mobile energy source is stored at the end of this hallway. Hallway is a pretty kind term for what looks to me like a complex medieval gauntlet of death. Yes. Well, while the idea of jumping down a crypt filled with whirly, razor-sharp spikes might scare me, in fact, terrorized by every fiber, it's the only way to power up that old computer in the re-education tower. Without that thing online, we'll never get at the clockwork eyes or free Carmelita. You're a good man, Bentley. Just make sure those traps don't rip you into a hundred little turtle pieces. Why'd you have to say that? <laughs> yes, why'd you have to say that? Alright, uh, we just gotta do some platforming. Very careful platforming, I should point out. Oh! Oops! Jeez! You can bounce, Bentley! Okay. Okay. Okay, uh, anything else? Whoa, okay, this is just getting a little more complex and silly looking. Huh, okay. Oh, it's that sea monster again. Oh, Cthulhu lives down here, obviously. Yeah, you could shoot the tentacles with your darts, but it doesn't really do anything. It doesn't even have any health in there. Aha! This acid battery should do the trick. Just walk close to the electrode and voila! Prepare to be hacked, you knave! <laughs> now you're gonna go all medieval on these guys? Uh oh. Ow. That's kind of scary looking to see a bunch of enemies surround you like that. Bye. Oh, of course, okay. I'll get you, Contessa. Oh, how many times must you say that? It's not going to happen. I'm dead serious. I'll get you. I'll get you, I'll get you. <laughs> I 
I mean it. I'll get you. Yes, yes, so I've heard. All right, that's one that's part of it. One down, two to go. Oh, I'd better not take any damage while carrying this battery to the other terminals. It is, after all, filled with acid. Mm, good point. Okay, ready for another session of hacking mastery. Oh boy. Back off, Cthulhu. If that really is you. Okay, so, um, let's see. Is there a terminal in here? No, there isn't. Okay. Yeah, it's filled with acid, like all batteries, so... Eh... I think there's a terminal in here. No? Oh, it's over there. Wait for it. And there. Oh, great. You want to make this harder for me? Ow. Ow. Okay. I, I really shouldn't try risking it like that. should approach this through your id instead of your conscious mind. It might help to get around your super ego. Hmm. The id? I'm not sure if the id is a good choice, but I'm no psychiatrist. One more uh, computer and I can get out of here. And get that battery off your back. None of them have health in it either, so that's bad. Ooh, that was a close one. Man, this is going to be tense. Okay. There's only one room left. Why must it be a medieval gauntlet of death? Could have it not been a medieval gauntlet of friendliness? Well, whatever. I made it. Let's finish this. Nothing seems different. You have to catch me. Oh. Well, who says I have to kill you? I can just... Maybe it's a better idea if I do kill you. Just so that I can have an accomplishment. Inspector Fox, why fight it? Don't you want to be my friend? No, you horrible eight-legged cow. No. Um. Don't know if I'd go that far here is done and there great job Bentley now we have only one thing left to do and that's the heist it's time to wage war on the castle and in the confusion pull off a heist I've named Operation High Road I love it. First, Murray will take down the spotlights on the main gate with the codes provided by General Clawfoot. Then, with the help of the voice modulator, I'll order Neela's forces to attack. Sly will then paraglide the two of us over to the Contessa's getaway blimp, and we'll use it to get inside her re-education tower. The assault on the castle will undoubtedly draw the Shadow Guards off their post, and if we free Inspector Fox, She's sure to clear out the Contessa. 
With the mind shuffler exposed, I'll plant the bad mojo bomb, and presto, the clockwork eyes are ours. So if the two of you are ready, let's take our positions and get this thing started. Okay. It's a plan of attack. Also, if you've not purchased the paraglider for Sly, you can't start this mission. You do need it. 55% is our progress. We're halfway in this game. All right, Murray. Head for the castle's main gate and power down those searchlights. While you do that, Bentley and I will climb our way up to the top of the castle. Good luck. All right, let's begin. I hope that general guy told the truth, or this is gonna get ugly. Oh yeah! The lights are down, Bentley. Time to call in the cavalry. I'll see if I can find some extra firepower to help out. Attention, bloodthirsty mercenary forces. The castle defense, defense is all down. Seize this opportunity for aggressive military action by pressing an attack on the castle. Charge! For victory, for glory. That should do it. Now that you're done being a warmonger, feel like paragliding over to that blimp? Just make sure to grab the rope hanging off that thing. I don't want to drown. Neither do I. Oh, you shrunk. Bentley shrunk so tiny. Okay. There we go, Bentley. Uh-oh. This could get rough. All right, let's head for the re education tower. All right. What? The mercenaries have breached the castle defenses? All of you go! Defend this tower to the last man! Alright, the Shadow Guard are getting out of the way. I still have time to finish with your readjustment. Let me out of here and I'll readjust your face. Okay, partner. Looks like the Shadow Guard is out of the picture. You ready to free our violent little princess? Affirmative. That Iron Tech 250 is a fully integrated system. Access to Carmelita's restraints has to be in this old terminal somewhere. Alright. Another hacking game. Ooh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I don't like this already. Come on, we're almost there. That should do it. Get out of there, Carmelita. Aha! I've isolated the brain pattern. You and I are about to become the best of friends. Okay, new best friend. Hands up, and I mean all of them. My dear, you really should. <gasps> Shadow Guard! Shadow Guard! Come back here, you witch! Let's get the eyes. Always trying to resolve her problems with the shock pistol. She is rather truculent. Stand clear, Sly. This might have a larger blast than anticipated. Um... Bentley, you okay? This is no place for an asthmatic. Uh... But I've located one of the clockwork eyes. Can you find the other? No worries, chaps. It's safely in hand. Neela? Thanks for clearing out the Contessa. Nothing I did could pry her away from the clockwork eyes. 
Hmm, one should be enough for the old bird. Ta ta! Hey, give that back! Bentley, take the eye and escape on the blimp. I'm going after Neela. But the plan! It. This wasn't in the plan! Well, we need to be quick on our feet and pull off some indie ploys. Alright, we gotta chase Neela down. We've already done that twice, so this should be no problem for us. Attention all bombers! Focus your attack on the contestants of Blimp! Heads up, Bentley. You're about to come under fire. Get to the Blimp's turret and stay sharp. Yeah, Neela will have her own paraglider, so try to keep up with her. There's also mercenary tanks, so watch out for them. Neela's gonna do a lot to try and slow you down. Oh, going for the well? Ah. Oh, give it up, Neela. I chased you in France, I, t I chased you in India, and I'm chasing you in Prague. It makes no difference where we're at. I will always chase you down. I think you're leading us back in a little circle, you know. Yeah, I'm staying clear whenever you try to do that. Nope. She can set off that guillotine and it can hurt you. And yeah, you can't hurt her if you catch up to her. You just gotta keep up with her. Aha. Oh, how unfortunate. You really should watch where you're going. This place is dangerous. I'll take that. Clockwork's eye. Don't you dare. That eye is mine. It's mine! <sighs> well, Actually, Mr. Kuglar, the eye belongs to me. Well, hello, Contessa. I'll deal with you in a bit. Heads up, Bentley. You're about to come under fire. Get to the blimp's turret and stay sharp. Okay, I can do this. I can do this. Just shoot down all of Neela's mercenary biplanes and the tanks as well. Oh, the tanks don't count? It's just the biplanes. Eat that! Take that! Oh, you could zoom in and out if you want as well. Almost there. So sorry. Only three left. Two. One. That did it. The sky's all clear. Okay, guys, I'm heading out for our rendezvous. Come back here, Contessa. That getaway blimp won't save Oh, Carmelita, why? Merciful Hades? Carmelita shot out the guidance system and the blimp's descending at a decidedly unsafe rate. I'm going down! 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 Please tell me you can swim, Bentley. Maybe. I don't know. That's bad. That I belongs to me. And I want it back. No way. You think I'm crazy? Actually, on second thought, don't answer that. I really don't yeah. want your professional opinion. Not crazy, just stupid. You're an ignorant child playing dress up in his father's legacy. Oh, I know all about you and the Cooper clan. 
Then you'll understand why this eye needs to be destroyed. Short-sighted fool! I've no interest in your narrow interpretation of morality. I'm above all that. Above good and evil. And you think I'd give the eye to someone that's above morality? Exactly. Insect. It will be just as easy and more fun to pry it from your cold, dead hand. I'll show you who's the insect. Alright, Contessa's just gonna attack you with her claws, so it's not too hard. Now, she'll also summon little spiders, but ouch. Now, should you either knock her off the roof, or if you try to jump off yourself, she'll latch onto you with a piece of web and she'll sling you back up, so... Bentley? Oh, Bentley, you should have stood up for yourself. Ooh. Gotcha. Crushed you. Like a bug. You've shown me the error of my ways. Really? I'm sorry for you. All your education and you still don't know right from wrong. Huh? Huh? Oof. I know enough not to let my guard down around an intellectually superior opponent. Oh, that's bad. She got the eye? She's got the eye! Gotta get it back. How's this thing work? What's this do? And this? Um. Help! Carmelita took the eye! And she's trying to get away in one of the Contessa's tanks! Don't worry about it, little buddy. I won't let her get away. Alright, Murray. Shoot at her tank to incapacitate it. She won't be harmed, and we'll get the eye. Alright, uh, I don't know if Carmelita can get away if you don't keep up, so... Try to keep up. Keep on shelling her to stop that tank. I had to do that. I need to get a better shot. Normally, I'd have this done by now. Alright, we're back where we started. Gotta watch out for those exploding barrels. Yeah, Murray, I understand. Oh no. Oh no, you decide to go through here. I I, I think I need to get one more shot in on her, but I can't get a good shot. Almost. Oh yeah. I'll grab the eye while Carmelita's still stuck in her tank. Then come around to pick up Bentley for a quick exit. Good plan, Murray. Only one thing left to do. There's nowhere left to run. We both know I can beat you in a fight. So why don't you just hand over the eye? You're right, Cooper. In a battle of strength, you've proven yourself. But with this clockwork eye, I can battle in your mind. Okay, so the Contessa has a new attack that she can use thanks to the clockwork eye. Basically, if she decides to use it, and if I get hit by it... Yeah, if you get caught by that green light that she admits, uh, I guess I can demonstrate if she decides to use it. Yeah, Sly will be hypnotized, the background will be distorted, and you can't run or do anything. But you could still move around to avoid getting hit. 
And don't worry, if you fall off, once again, the Contessa will just pull you back up anyway, so you got nothing to worry about. Why don't we give you a little zappy zap? Give you another zappy zap. Uh-oh. Okay. I'm not gonna be hypnotized again. Ow. What? Oh, she fell on her own accord. And I knocked you off again. You enjoy getting knocked off, don't you? Oh. Gotcha. You've got a strong mind, Cooper. I never would have guessed. There. <laughs> that face! Crushed like a bug. You're the real insect, if anything. Things hadn't gone exactly to plan, but the Contessa was beaten and the clockwork eyes were finally mine. The Contessa was arrested and brought to trial for the crime she committed while working for Interpol. Their PR damage control went one step further by promoting Neela, the hero of Prague, to the rank of captain. Carmelita, still on the outs with Interpol, had to run with the rest of us. To my surprise and eternal delight, I got to help my favorite policewoman escape from the cops. <laughs> I tried to put it all out of my mind. This claw business was spiraling out of control and I knew that my gang was at the center of it. We'd be back in action soon enough, but for now, well, we just laid low for a while. Good job, good point. The hero of Prague. Ah, uh, this is bad, and Sly's right. Ever since that India job in episode three, things have been getting a little harder for the gang. Well, that will do for this episode of Sly 2, though. Join me next time as we start episode 6. He who tames the iron horse. That is it. And I will see you guys next time.